China Gates by John Adams was written in 1977 in the style known as minimalism, or according to some historians, post-minimalism. It was composed specifically for 17-year-old piano prodigy Sarah Hill during a particularly rainy season in Adams' home of Northern California. Adams specifically stated that the piece reflects the sound and feeling of rain. The piece was also influenced by Steve Reich's phase music, where multiple instruments play the same pattern and gradually fall out of sync, as well as mid-century electronic gated music. A gate, in term of general electronics, is a terminal which opens or closes an electric current, known as an envelope. When each gate closes, typically another opens, releasing a different envelope with a different amount of voltage. When applied to music, a gate opens the release of sound, which continues until the gate closes and another opens with a new envelope of a different sound. Adams uses the damper pedal as a gate. Each envelope contains a particular mode, which wash together in a steady stream of sound as the damper pedal is depressed. When the pedal changes, the sound clears and a new envelope opens with a new mode, a new rhythm, and a new color. Here's an example of one of these gate changes. In the composer's own words, this piece is a, quote, near-perfect palindrome, end quote. In this chart provided in the score, Adams outlines the gate changes, and we can see what he means. Each horizontal line is an envelope, and each vertical line indicates the gate. Our A section is approximately the left third of the diagram, followed by a B section of more rapid gate changes. A prime is the mirror image of the A section. Let's analyze the A section a little bit more in depth. The first envelope here is written in the tonality of A flat mixolydian. To understand what that means, here are the notes of the A flat major scale. To create a mixolydian scale, we lower the seventh tone by a half step. This is what it sounds like within the piece. Then the pedal changes and a gate has switched. The second envelope is in the G-sharp Aeolian mode, also known as G-sharp natural minor. Because A-flat and G-sharp are inharmonically identical, or in other words, they are the same pitch, we feel a modal shift rather than a shift of root at this point. Listen. Most of the gate changes in this piece are likewise subtle. This chart shows us the outline of the gates and modes in the piece. As we can see, A and A prime have pedal tones and the B section is left without that resonating bass. That makes the B section feel more weightless, which is necessary because, as we saw in Adam's diagram, these modal shifts happen extremely quickly. It also allows for bigger leaps and modal roots, although we never really get grounded in any of them, so it's harder to feel. Let's hear just a few seconds of section B so we can hear that difference. The biggest contrast between substantial mode sections we have is the transition from envelope 25 in A-flat Dorian to envelope 26 to D-flat Mixolydian. That perfect fifth is the biggest jump in root that we ever get, excluding those other gates that happen so quickly that we hardly feel the shift. This gate also takes us to a different color of mode, so we get both feelings of movement, root and mode.
Here it is. So who said that modern music can't be beautiful? Adams has used principles of electronic music, which many musicians shudder at the thought of, to create something entirely descriptive and mesmerizing. It also makes great yoga music, or just try listening to it when you feel like lying on the floor for a while during finals this week. Thank you, John Adams.